take a look at this picture. I want you to look very carefully. The Bible says in Psalm 91, Psalm chapter 91, that we are protected by guardian angels. Did you know that as a believer in Jesus Christ that you have a guardian angel watching you and protecting you too? Here's a, a demon. Here's an angel. I want you to look very carefully. And notice this is a war. God, even though this is the devil's territory, there are angels on this on this planet, amen? There are angels in the sky. There are angels in this room right now. There are angels when you go to sleep. There are angels when you wake up. There are angels at your work. There are angels everywhere. They protect you. And they protect you against them. And notice, he's not just sitting around. This angel is active. And look what he has. A sword. Amen. The belt of truth. Truth keeps us from giving in to the world's beliefs. Amen. Amen. If you believe in Jesus, you don't believe anything in this world. Okay? That makes it real easy. Compare your beliefs and actions to the truth of the Word of God. If you are a person of truth, then you should you should live like a person of God and not like the world. Now, here's the, here's the symptom. Here's the checklist. Do you love the things of God more than the world? Then you then you are a truth of, you believe in the truth of God. But if you love the things of the world more than God, you better get your belt on real quick. Truth keeps us from giving in to the world's beliefs. Compare your truth, beliefs and actions to the truth of the Word of God. There are three heavens. We have preached and taught this again and again and again. And and people still don't get it. So we're going we're gonna to break it down for you. The first heaven is the earth, the sky, the abode of the humans. This is what we see directly. It is directly influenced by events in the heavenly realm, the downfall of mankind, Adam's sin. You know why our planet is going through the change it's going through? is because of sin. Okay? Global warming is man's fantasy. It does not happen. The only global warming that's going to happen is when Jesus comes and burns this world up. That's global warming. The first heaven is the earth. The second heaven is the space, the atmosphere. That's where the demons and angels fight. This is the this is the seat of Satan's government. It's controlled at the atmosphere extending from the first heaven towards up. This is the abode of the powers of principality. This is space. Do you believe in UFOs? I don't believe in aliens in the sky, but there are UFOs in space. And the UFOs that people are seeing is the war between the demons and the angels. That I do believe. That's scriptural. We'll get into that more as well. The third heaven. That's God's throne. That's where God is. That's our home. Is our third heaven. Amen. Jesus Christ is sitting at the right hand of God in heaven. That is our home. That is the place where Lucifer was kicked out of. Now notice here. The first heaven is the earth. And notice how it's shaped like the earth. The second heaven is the space around it. The third heaven is undimensional. What does that mean? Third heaven is not something that we can go into in the flesh and blood. It's uninhabitable to us in the first heaven. In other words, we can't just get a rocket ship and go to heaven. It doesn't work that way. Okay? This is a spiritual realm. This is something out of our reach. It only can, only can go in our new bodies. And our souls will go there when we die. Look at the scriptures that support this. Uh, Psalm 12.1, Daniel 10, I mean 2 Corinthians, Ephesians, and Revelation. All these talk about the three heavens. There are three heavens. Undimensional. The only way you can get to this heaven is through Jesus Christ. Okay? The first heaven is the atmosphere. The second heaven is space. Where the UFOs come into a boat, that is the battle between good and evil. Look at this picture very carefully. What do you see about this picture? Besides the cross. John 14.6 Way and truth and life. Ephesians 6.12 You should have the wealth the belt of truth. If you're wearing the belt of truth, you're actually wearing Jesus. Did you know that? You're wearing the cross. 
if you're wearing the belt of truth, you are putting on the cross. And notice how the cross is wrapped around you. Think of that for a minute. And when you put on the belt of truth, this is the picture I want you to see. This is my picture to you, for you. I want you to look at that very carefully. That's what you're putting on. I love this picture. <laughs> this is awesome. This is the demise of every demon that will come in the presence of Christ. They will fall. And notice, every single one of them is going down. Because they refuse to believe that He is the truth. They refuse to believe he's the way and the life. And notice, he's wearing purple, the garment of royalty. He has his scepter. He has his crown. He is on his throne. He is Jesus. He's not even standing up for them. He's just saying, get away from me. Away from thee. I never knew you. Away from thee. I never knew you. He didn't say, I never knew the church. I didn't know your address. I didn't know your phone number. He says, I never knew you. We're going to leave this picture on when we pray. I want you to ask yourself, if you don't believe, where are you going? Do you believe? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight there are people being blessed that will watch this, not because of the church, not because of me. They're being blessed because this is your word. Amen. This is about you. People need to start listening to you, Lord. We pray that you will open their ears and open their hearts and their minds and open their souls to listen to you. Not to the devil, not to his lies, not to his doubts but to listen to your truth. And Heavenly Father, you're the only truth. You are the source of all truth. Your love and your mercy and your forgiveness is the truth. When you tell us you love us, you say it forever. You mean it forever. When you tell us you've forgiven us of our sins, you have forgiven every one of our sins. Each and every one of our sins is gone. When you applied the blood to us, you applied the blood everywhere in our life. Not just in our lives, but in our marriages, in our families, in our health, everywhere. And when there's victory, Heavenly Father, you've given us victory not only over sin, but over the hell and the devil and his angels as well in Jesus' name. It's a total victory. Lord, we pray for those people tonight that don't know what they believe. We pray for those people that are believing a lie praying for those people that are lost. Our prayer tonight is for them. Our prayer is that they will know the truth. Not in a president, not in a pope, not in a church, but in the person of Jesus Christ. He's perfect. He's holy. He is God. He is real. But most of all, He's coming back. That is our prayer, Lord, this evening. Not only for us here, but for those out there. Please help them to believe. In Jesus' name.